Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hacking Self Storage. For those of you who can see the visuals, you will actually see that I am, I've got a different background. The reason I've got a different background is because I turned my television around, my computer around, because I feel like I've got th this amazing, um, it's, it's like I call it a back cave, man cave, whatever you want to call it, office. And, um, and obviously the view you normally see is just behind my uh, desk, which isn't the best view in the world. However, this, this is a view that I look out on all the time. If I move a little bit to that direction, you will see my pool table and everything. So yeah, that's what we, uh, this is my, this is my new recording setup. Okay. So the week in numbers, what we do every single Monday is we go through my week in numbers and today is no different. Last week, oh my God, what a surprisingly amazing week. Absolutely over the moon bit. So we did 51 quotes. That's an average of 7.29 quotes per day. That is incredible for two reasons. One, it's January. And number two, we haven't got storemore.co.uk up and running on the um uh, as as SEO. It's not it's not been crawled correctly from Google. We're having a bit of an issue with it. And um, because it's a new website, it's a new website now. So we're doing a 401 redirects and all them clever good stuff. And but it normally takes about two to three months to get back your rankings. However, um, it might take us a little bit longer, but we're still getting the quotes. We're still getting the quotes. And obviously I put it that, that down to good location and also uh, our pay-per-clicks campaign, which is very, very good. And so it's, it started making me question, well, is it important to, to, to be ranked on SEO or not in, in the top whatever? Is it just all about Google AdWords? I mean, it's a small sample size. We'll need more data. And the problem is we can't do split testing. So we'll, we'll never truly know but it's an interesting concept, right? I'm going to have to get on because I've got to take the kids to school as well today. So number of reservations. We did 17 reservations this last week. Incredible. So quotes to reservations was a 33% conversion rate. So really happy with the team there. Forward movings, not so happy with the team here. Seven, that is 41%. We need to be 75, 75% of forward movings. What have I told you guys before? It is super, super important to get somebody to commit more than just, yeah, I'll reserve a room. We've got to do a little bit of paperwork. We've got to get them to start filling in that paperwork. The more times they fill in the paperwork, the more they do, the less that they will cock. And I say cock as, as a, a, a slang sales term for cancel um, and not show up. So we've got to do more forward movings. 41% isn't good enough, right? New movings is 15. So we did 15 new movings last week. It's a conversion rate of 29% from quotes to movings. Again, beautiful stuff there, team. Beautiful stuff. Uh, number of square foot moved in was 1,695 square foot moved in. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, other movings was five. So we moved in a total of 1,845 square foot last week in January. In January. That is phenomenal. So, so pleased. Uh, interestingly, where did our quotes come from? Well, we said we aren't ranking on Google. Interestingly, only 31% of our quotes came from Google. So that was 61%. Normally, it's 75, 80%. And so that has dropped. So maybe we are losing out there. So, but not much. We're only you know, maybe 10, 15%. It's, it's fascinating, really is fascinating because would... Would um would have we missed out on anybody from Google or have we just increased other places where we got the quotes from it? It, it is it's so fascinating. I love things like this, and so we can always learn from every situation. Yeah, it's a it's a shitty situation to be in to start a new website uh, with no domain authority, um, but 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 we we learn we learn so much about um where our quotes come from. So it's an opportunity to learn, I believe. So, so Google was 31 quotes. Word of mouth was five, that's 10%. Passing by was eight, that's 16%. Used before, uh, sorry, Beverly was two. So we had two quotes from Beverly because we couldn't actually um, put them in Beverly because we're, we're nearly full in Beverly, which is good. So that's 4% from Beverly. Used before was one, that's 2%. I'm rounding up here, by the way. Removals is one as well. Uh, social media, estate agents, and blog was all zero. <coughs> Excuse me, I've just had a bit of a, I've had a protein shake and, uh, and it, just, it just tickles my throat afterwards. Right, so square foot moved in, 18.45. Square foot moved out. Are you ready for it? 375. What? 375 square foot. Uh, it's unbelievable. Um, I don't know what to say. By the end of this week, I'll, we'll make up for it, I'm sure. So net result was 1,470 square foot positive. 
1,470 square foot positive. In- I keep saying incredible, but I'm going to say it again. Incredible! So obviously I'm chuffed. Uh, amount of rooms moved in was 20. Amount of rooms moved out was seven. Total internal rooms occupied, three, four, eight. Containers moved in two. We've got 46 external units now rented out. Uh, amount of car parking moved in, a zero. Amount of car parking moved out, one. We want to get rid of those car parking and put containers in. Uh Store occupancy, 81.85%. I want to get up to that 85%, baby. So we're not too far off. Uh, 82% if we round up. Average weekly sales per move in, £10.91. Rubbish. We normally, like this is merchandise for people moving. We normally like to hit around about uh, 25 quid there. Uh, insurance. We sold 98 grand's worth of insurance, and that was for an average of £6,533. Uh, by the way, I've got an interview coming up um, with sustainability and the environment on Wednesday. And then on Friday, I'm going to do a podcast all about insurance and how we have been massively let down. And I mean massively let down. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to name and shame yet, because uh, but I feel strongly about it. And um, basically, a customer's goods have unfortunately got damaged and our insurance has refused to pay out. What's the point of having insurance? Honestly, I am fuming, absolutely fuming. What is the point of having insurance if I don't pay out? It's, it's ridiculous. We pay like 12 grand a year and this clear, I've had to pay. I've, I won't go into the figures now, but as you can tell, I am. I don't often get mad about things because I let things wash over and I think, do you know, I only get mad about something if I'm going to worry about it in a year's time. In a year's time, is it going to bother me? If the answer is yes, then guess what? I'm allowed to get mad about it. If the answer is no, I'm not allowed to get mad about it. Unfortunately, I won't even remember this in a year's time. However, I just feel wronged. I feel wronged and... I don't want anybody else to be in the situation we're in. It's just, it, it's unfair, completely unfair. And so, yeah, I'm mad, as you can tell. Um, right, so number, so that was average of £6,533 of insurance sold last week. Number of move-ins next week, due, 11, which is good. Uh, so 1,060 square foot due in. That is good for January. I'm over the moon with that. Well, I'm not over the moon with is amount of square foot due out. Number of move outs due next week, 20 rooms are supposed to move out. 20 rooms for an average square foot. Uh, sorry, the amount of square foot is 2,035. Oh, it's an absolute killer. 2,035 square foot is moving out next week. Oh, but one of them's a massive uh, 500 square foot. And to be honest, we've had any move outs this week, so we can't really complain, can we? Okay, Stormore, uh, money. So we took £13,979 last week at Stormore, £455 worth of bounced direct debits. Beverly, we was having a champion week there. We took £4,967.46 total. Revenue for both sites was £18,947.39. So um, really, really good there. Um, well, no, I say really good. Um, no, it's not really good, I suppose. No, it, overall, it's not. Beverly, uh, Stormall let us down. Beverly was really, really good. Um, so no, it's not really, really good. <laughs> revenue check. Let's quickly go for the revenue check. Uh, true period revenue says that we should have taken £25,390.65. pence. We've actually taken £14,103 at Stormall. So we're a negative of £11,286. A little bit concerning, uh, but we're always behind at the early parts and we were so far up last month. You expect a negative. Anything, as long as we're not negative plus £5,000, I suppose that'll be okay because of how far I was up last week, last month. Beverly, true period revenue, £4,664.62. Actual revenue is £4,967.46. All right, my friends, I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm going to have to do one because I've got to... Uh, uh, yeah, to the kids' school. All right, my friends, see you soon. Hope you like my new background. And uh, as you can see, look in that little corner there, you can see uh, all nice fields and stuff, which is amazing. Um, I do really need to tidy it up if I'm going <laughs> to... I've got chairs everywhere. Uh, I've got my two bandits. Well, I've got more bandits over that way. But anyway, show up talking, Dean. Right, thank you, guys. See ya. Bye. This is it.